most modern versions of Windows come with bloat, tracking and other annoying features. These versions are also the most common, available on billions of computers around the world. But what if I told you there's a version of Windows that skips all that bloat and tracking? In this video, we're gonna check it out and see how it compares to more common versions of Windows. No, by regular means, this version of Windows isn't easy to come by at all. Microsoft doesn't sell it on their store, most people don't know it exists, and most new PCs you buy won't come with this version. The only way you can legally get this version is through volume licensing, which can get very expensive. However, if you look hard enough, you can very easily find ISOs on this version all over the internet, which you can then boot the installer and install it to your computer. I can't tell you where exactly I got my ISO, but it has something to do with graves. So, what exactly is this mysterious version of Windows, and how does it compare to what you're probably using right now? Let's find out. I opened the installer, where it installed the base files, and then rebooted to the out-of-box experience. From there, I could log in with a local account, set my username, and disable Microsoft's tracking. I waited for a few more minutes. Then I got to the desktop. I promptly closed Edge because we both know why. Welcome to Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. As you can see, this version of Windows is very bare bones, just like what I said in the intro. It doesn't come with a lot of the bloatware that more mainstream versions of Windows usually come with. Best part, you can actually remove Microsoft Edge, something Microsoft won't let you do with standard Windows. I came prepared with Firefox. So I installed it so that I could have an actually good web browser. My graphics drivers installed automatically so that I could enjoy this monitor's full resolution. After that, I installed OBS so that I could record my screen in a less annoying way. I noticed Windows wasn't fully activated so I activated it properly using a tool which I can't say the name of on YouTube. This is a crucial step because if you don't activate this version of Windows, wallpaper will be set to black and your computer will restart every hour. You wouldn't want that happening, so it's best you activate using any means available to you. After activating, I could safely use the computer, and I even unlocked personalization features, such as enabling dark mode and the ability to change the wallpaper. As we take a quick peek at the start menu, you can see that a small amount of apps actually come with this version of Windows. This is a good thing, because your system isn't bogged down by gigabytes of useless junk you will probably never use and you won't need to waste time removing them later down the line. So let's talk about why this version of Windows exists. What I've installed on this computer is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. The LTSC stands for Long Term Servicing Channel and it was designed for special purpose devices and environments. These devices typically do a single important task and don't need feature updates as often as other devices in an organization. Because of this, this version of Windows has to be extremely lightweight and not contain many of the features and additions that bog down performance. That's why LTSC is used in crucial applications, everything from MRI scanners to industrial machines and even air traffic control. So Microsoft created this special version to better assist crucial devices that don't have lots of processing power. IoT stands for Internet of Things and it's an umbrella term that's used for low power devices whose general purpose is to do tasks over the internet. For these devices, Microsoft created a special version of Windows for them too which has the same criteria as the regular LTSC version except the IoT version has 5 years of mainstream support along with another 5 years of extended support meaning you get a total of 10 years of official support directly from Microsoft and if you're using Windows 10 IoT LTSC, that means it will be supported by Microsoft until the year 2032, which is 7 more years than mainstream versions of Windows 10, which will reach their end of life in October of 2025. This is useful, especially for those who want to stay on Windows 10 for as long as possible. Because LTSC is built for stability, you won't get feature updates just security patches. This means no surprise changes breaking your workflow. Considering all of this, many people have picked Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC as their preferred version of Windows to use daily on their own machines. I acquired Photoshop 2020 from a source I can't say the name of, 
and install it. The reason why I'm using such an old version is because my CPU doesn't support SSC 4.2 which newer versions of Photoshop require to run. I put together this video's thumbnail and being indecisive, I ended up making several versions. Excuse my lousy skills, I tried learning GIMP but I gave up, so my memory on Photoshop shortcuts is a bit rusty. Then I installed Microsoft Office 2024. Even though it's a version from last year, there's no doubt that it still works perfectly fine on this version of Windows. I installed Office Professional, which includes Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, Access, and Excel, all of which work as intended. This version of Windows also has less UWP apps in exchange for more legacy apps. For example, the Windows 10 and 11 calculator you know and love has been replaced with the old legacy calculator from Windows 7 and Windows 8. This is because, by default, enterprise versions of Windows don't come with the Microsoft Store as it can take up too many resources. However, if you want to reinstall it, you can run this command in PowerShell and the store and related components will quietly install in the background. With a few minutes and you should be able to use the store. This can be useful if you need to install UWP apps like Xbox Game Bar or if you just want access to the Microsoft Store's app library. Of course, no OS is perfect, there are some downsides. Because this version of Windows doesn't get feature updates, and a new LTSC version releases only every 3 years, you may have some trouble with newer hardware getting drivers automatically through Windows Update. But for most peripherals, if Windows Update doesn't pick up the drivers, you can usually find them on the manufacturer's website. So is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC the ultimate lightweight Windows? For some people, definitely. No bloat, no tracking, no force updates. But for others, the lack of feature updates and possible driver issues might be a deal breaker. If you made it this far, that means you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. Share the video with anyone and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.